So I did a little research on all the cars that are going to be showed in the upcoming uh, installment of the Fast and Furious series, um, Fate of the Furious. And these are the seven cars that I feel are going to have a decent role in the movie. Obviously, there are going to be other cars you see on the sides, but I don't think main car characters are going to be uh, driving them. For example, there is even a twin turbo uh, Lamborghini Gallardo, is a blue one, uh, that they have on the set, but I don't think it's going to be a main car. It's just going to be um, on the sidelines, but we don't know yet. So here are the top seven cars uh, that. I chose uh, that I think are going to have a, a larger role for main characters um, in this upcoming movie. The first one is the Bentley Continental GT BR9 edition, um, and it also has a Vorsner uh, body kit on it, uh, along with air ride suspension. The reason it has the air ride suspension is because, I guess, moving it from site to site, scene to scene, there's a lot of curbs and driveways and all kinds of stuff, so it was easy to have the air ride suspension. I think the car actually uh, came with that installed, uh, so it helped them save a little bit of money too, and that is going to be driven by none other than uh, Roman Pierce. Uh, so the next one I chose on the list is the WRX STI, and it looks like this car is going to be specifically fitted um, for snow action uh, in that scene with the uh, with the submarine coming up out of the water, as you could see in the um, trailer. So I have no idea who is going to be driving this, um, but it does look like by these pictures here that it's just strictly for um, you know, the, the scenes and it makes sense cause it's all wheel drive. It's a rally car. Um, so I had that at number six on the list. Number five, I have the AMG GTS, which is going to be driven by Tej, AKA Ludacris. Um, another sweet car, but again, it's kind of just, you know, it's just an AMG GTS. It's, there's nothing that special about it. Um, and I think in this movie series at the root of it, you know, is, you know, they had the Supra, they had the Eclipse, they were tuners, um, and you had some exotics, but they weren't the stars, and um, that's why it's, it's a little higher up on the list. Uh, but again, it's going to be a main character driving this car, um, so I felt it was, it was worth mentioning. Kind of a fun fact that they uh, mentioned in, in some of the research that I found is they have about $17 million worth of cars uh, on the set of this cup upcoming installment. So that is the most that they have ever spent on cars. And it's not really that they spent that much, it's that's how many, uh, you know, of all the ones that are on the set, that's what they're collectively worth. They didn't necessarily buy all of them because they have several McLarens, they have a whole bunch of cars and uh, obviously they're not gonna buy them all. Some were donated, a lot of them were donated by companies like Year One, um, for a lot of the muscle cars to, um, you know, as free advertisement. Maserati did a lot for them um, and so on. The fourth car on my list is the orange Lamborghini Murcielago. Again, this is also going to be driven by Rome. You've seen that in uh, the trailer, I'm sure, um, with Tej yelling at him because he has an orange Lamborghini in the middle of, you know, snow. Uh, again, it makes sense. It's all-wheel drive. It's going to be used in the snow scenes. Um, and it's kind of weird, the pictures that they show online, it actually looks like a replica for some reason. Something doesn't look right about the finish of the Mercy Lago. So it could be a kit car. I don't, I don't really know. Um, and I'm just, just based off what I've seen. So I, you know, there's no real truth to that, but um, just kind of interested if you guys know anything about that as well. But I have that ranked as the fourth car. So the third car in my lineup is Dom's Plymouth GTX, and supposedly there is an LS3 swap um, in this car. There's also some footage online of it actually driving around and you can hear it and it sounds, it sounds really mean. Uh, but the reason this is higher up on the list is because this is getting back to the roots of what makes the Fast and Furious such a great um, series is because these are cars that like an enthusiast likes to see. Um, they're heavily modified, they're extremely clean, um, and they have history to them. And that's, and it, this is continues on Dom's line, you know, with the Charger that he had in the, uh, 
in the first Fast and Furious, and now he's on a Plymouth GTX. It's just, you know, personally, I'm not a fan of muscle cars. I don't, I haven't driven many. I don't really understand them, but millions of people love them. So this this appeals to them, and then they also have the tuner side, which appeals to other people. So that's what I think the Fast and Furious does a really nice job of. It's not just one or the other, and now they even have exotics, like I previously mentioned. So I like that they're going, they're sticking to their roots with that and in the Dom character. Number two on the list is the uh, Corvette C2 driven by Letty. It has these really fat tires and wheels set up on it. Um, it's red, it has black wheels, it just pops on the big screen. And, it, and it's a cool car for, uh, for Letty to drive. Um, it just kind of fits her character. It's aggressive, it's fast, it's functional, and it's also a good looking car. And, it, and I think it's a, it's a perfect fit for Letty. And again, um, you know, continues from the roots of where the series started. So that my number one choice for the vehicles that they have in the, uh, the eighth movie coming up here, uh, Subaru BRZ with the wide body Rocket Bunny V2 body kit. Um, the reason I chose this, uh, partially because I'm more of a fan of tuners. The main reason though is because, uh, you know, this kind of carries on the legacy of Brian O'Connor or Paul Walker. Um, and it takes the place of something like the Eclipse or even the Supra in the first series. Um, at the time when that movie came out, the first one, the Eclipse was a really hot car. Right now the BRZ or FRS is an extremely hot car and that is one hopefully going to be one of playing a main role. There's video footage of it online uh, going up Fifth Avenue um, in New York in a chase scene with Letty's C2 Corvette. Um, I think the GTX is in that as well. But uh, you know it's, it's tuned, it has a popular body kit, um, it's gutted on the inside and the one thing that's great about the Fast and Furious since it's a car centric movie or, or was, I don't know, we've kind of drifted away from that, we're, we're into submarines now. But um, the nice thing is, is they focus on the details of the cars. So the sounds that the cars make are going to be what they would actually make in real life. You know, in some movies when they're not paying attention as much to the cars, which is understandable, um, the sound doesn't really match up, but you know it's going to match up and be high quality in the Fast series. Uh, so I'm really excited to hear, you know, actually what this thing sounds like. Um, but that's kind of it. I, I have a video, uh, another video that I posted with the top 10 cars of the whole series, so check that out. Um, and if you're kind of new to the channel, I generally am doing videos on my Focus ST um, and doing reviews of other people's cars, so uh, starting to slowly grow here. but. That's my list. Feel free to uh, troll me in the comments below with uh, my decisions on those cars, but really excited to see the movie. I'm gonna be doing a review on the trailer with a friend who is um, you know, heavily involved with movies and can actually bring some insight to um, you know, how it's evolved over the years. Thank you for watching. Uh, stick around, we're gonna have uh, pl plenty more content to come on this channel, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. All you need is some patience and then I promise we'll shine, yo There you go talking about us There you go talking about